March, Kids on Discovery Island are going to be collecting bars of soap. And we're going to fill our little bathtub here with all different bars of soap. So if you can send your kids with a bar of soap for community outreach, they are low on soap and I don't know if they're going to fill them with Easter baskets or whatever they're going to do, but we're going to help community outreach out with some soap from Discovery Island. Also, Easter is coming up, so we need lots of Easter candy donations. This giant basket will be in Discovery Island. If you would like to donate some candy, wrapped candy, um, for our Easter egg hunt, um, please come in and pop it in our basket, and it'll be located right in here. You know, it's hard to believe as we look outside and we see snow and wind and ice, but Easter's coming. It's going to be here on March the 31st, and uh, we always have great attendance on that day. The following week, the first Sunday in April, uh, we're going to try to do what we've done before, that is have a nice special meal so that we can get those folks that only come for Easter to come back the next week. Ladies, in the past you said, hey, guys, you're doing a wild game dinner. How come I can't come? And we said, you're welcome to come. You just have to do dishes. Well, that hasn't worked so good. Uh, so we are going to do a fish fry slash wild game dinner, um, kind of a banquet thing, the Sunday after Easter. And so this is a great opportunity to invite your friends and your neighbors to come to. But the other part of it is, we have, a, have, we have to feed a lot of people. So if you have some salmon and bluegill and perch, all kinds of fish, uh, we want you to bring that in. If you have some wild game or if you have access to some wild game, you know, we're gonna do a lot of venison dishes, but we'd love to have some elk and caribou and muskrat and bear and bison, and all that other stuff. Um, if you can get your hands on that, we would love to utilize it. Um, just please get in touch with Brian Bancroft. He's kind of running point on the kitchen of that. Let him know what you can bring in on that day. We want to feed a lot of people a great meal, and we want to invite them to be a part of what God is doing in and through Crossroads Community Church. I'm here to tell you today that um, we've switched over to the elder board system and I just want to give you a little bit of information about what we're doing. We as the elders are going to stay after each service so if you have a need to be laid hands on and prayed for, sickness, hurt, something in your family going on spiritually, we want to help you. The Bible says in James chapter 5 that if you're sick, come to the elders, have them lay hands on you and anoint your head with oil. We want to do that. We want to anoint you with oil. We want to lay hands on you, pray for you. We want to take care of you spiritually. So look for us after the each service, the early service and the late. There'll be someone there. Thanks. to join us for the last ladies brunch um, it happens once a month um, the next one is March 9th at 10 a.m. we would love to have you join us it's just a time to eat um, breakfast and fellowship together um, one thing Kate Bancroft said last Saturday is as women we're not meant um, to do this life alone we're not meant to journey alone so come and connect um, and be part of um, the ladies um, brunch as we fellowship and eat and enjoy some good food see you there